Howdy y'all. How y'all doing out there? Brett for Topo Ranger here and welcome to another hopefully fun adventure. Today I am at Otter Creek right on the Susquehanna River in York County and we're gonna have two main goals for this uh, lovely day and the one is to kind of follow the trail that I used to follow when I was a teenager with my friends and we would go uh, swimming. There are a couple swimming holes back here in Otter Creek which I have very uh, very fond memories of um, in terms of you know just good times had and a beautiful scenery. So we're gonna see if we can't find that trail, follow that trail and get some uh, get some good footage of these these swimming holes, which I still think are swimming holes uh, to this day. I think this is still a very popular place. Before I tell you the second goal, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and follow me on Facebook, all right? The second goal is more of a historical, uh, more of a historical goal. And this area here is called Otter Creek. There's a campground over there. And it's also known as York Furnace, just a little bit down here. Um, there was indeed a furnace, an iron furnace here at uh, for a period, probably in the you know mid 1800s. And last time I was here, I happened to uh, I ran into the uh, the man who manages the campground here, and he told me a few things about how they had done some big cleanups back here, and uh, you know trail maintenance. And what he also told me was that. The ruins of the furnace are still back there. However, according to him, and I would trust him because he pretty much lives down here, he said that if you're not really looking for them, you're not going to see them. So apparently the, the furnace is so dilapidated, it's, it's, it's in such a, a broken down state that uh, if you're not actually looking for it, you're not going to see it. But we're looking for it and we've been to some furnaces before I've been doing a lot of research on furnaces lately so um, we're gonna see if we can't uh, locate these hard to find ruins of the York furnace and poke around in some holes who knows maybe there's more there than meets the eye if you know what I mean right so that's basically it speaking of furnaces As soon as I, as soon as I walk down off the bridge here, got away from those those geese. Um, I found came started coming into finding this right, and this is this is slag. It's probably from the furnace we're talking about, the York furnace. Uh, there was a lot of slag piles around furnaces and stuff. And then sometimes they crushed the, uh, they crushed up the, the slag and used it for other purposes. But usually when you start seeing this, you know you're at least in the general vicinity uh, of a furnace. <laughs> but this is a big, this is a big, this is a big chunk of chunk of slag, right? <laughs> so we're probably gonna see some more of these. So uh, let's get going. To me, it looks like the water level is quite high today. I did check the river level before I came out. It was about nine feet uh, at the Harrisburg gauge. The elevation of the Harrisburg gauge is 290 feet above sea level. So the river at Harrisburg is, I guess that would mean it's 299 feet above the sea level right now. But one of the things I like about Otter Creek is the color of the water. It's got this, uh, when it gets a little depth to it, it has a lovely emerald, greenish, bluish um, feel to it. Oh, well look at that. Huh. That didn't take long. That looks like a furnace. Ha! <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that. Well, you know, that's actually more than, that's actually more than I expected. I mean, that's, e that's easily identifiable, unless that isn't a furnace, unless that's a bridge. That might be an old bridge pier. But it kind of has that furnace look. These 
either that or a pyramid. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely some type of construction. Huh. I don't know. What do you guys think? Bridge or furnace? I don't think a bridge would have that angle right there. And there's nothing over there to indicate uh, the other side. So I bet you this is the furnace. Wow. Wow. That's big. All right. Let's uh let's get a little closer look. There's an old iron, an iron bar sticking out of here. This might have been used to hook something on, or this could be a structural support. Sometimes they put iron bars through the furnaces to give them support, or like uh, at Cordoris furnace, they put the big bands. This looks like it's made from the schist, the schist here. There is a road up there. There's a trail up there. The trail's closed off though because there's a tree fall. But there is a road up there, so that would have been where the where they came to charge the furnace, elevated roadway. They would bring the the ore, charcoal, or the, probably charcoal, I'd imagine. Um, and the limestone they're dumping in the top here. It looks like the top of the stack might have been right about there. Maybe a couple feet higher. Kind of see the outline of the the arch here. This probably would have been the the Tellier arch or the the arch where they had the bellows going. And then the arch in the front was probably what they would call the tap arch. Yeah, there's the back wall. And sorry for the light. It's just the wrong time of day. This is probably part of the charging platform. It might not even have been a bridge. It might have just been a solid earth ramp and right up to the to the furnace's mouth. Now here you, well, you can see what I think is one of the sides of the arch here. What I was talking about earlier about finding something was uh, sometimes when these furnaces collapse, they can um, they can be filled. They can be stuff can be thrown in from the inside, or the walls can collapse to the exterior. Sometimes. Uh, the interiors of the furnaces are still accessible through the rubble that is around it. And uh, I found one recently over by Chickie's Rock, uh, very close to the Musselman Vesta ruins that was very obscure out in the middle of the woods. And actually, we're going we're gonna to go there real soon. I think I'm going to uh, hook up with um, Lewis again. And we're going to go there. But it was thing was obscure uh, out in the woods. Uh, the base was still there but it was just completely collapsed and ruined. And this was this was a big one. This is a big one. I think it was one of the Marietta furnaces. Uh, there were a whole bunch of furnaces over there, but you, uh, you can actually crawl into that. So um, sometimes you can access the inside of these furnaces if there's uh, still space there and it's, it's safe. So this hole right here would be the kind of thing I would look into, oh Jesus, I would look into to see if you can't get away in there. So that one's pretty much shut down with rubble. And on the other side, I didn't see anything. I mean, you can see the whole thing is structurally, it's just structurally compromised. Let's see what's over here. Now here, we have another 
fold. Oh, and I do see some, I do see some space. There's cold air coming out of here. This could just be, oh wow, no, it goes in there. Um, all right, I got my torch out. And it does appear that it goes back in there. I can see about four or five feet in, and then I hit a rock, but I'm not sure. I don't know if there would have been a an arch on the side facing the hill, facing the charging ramp. So this could just be stuff from above that fell down. There could be a space in between various parts of the structure. Let's go up top and see what we can see up there. Here's a shot looking down on, I guess, what would be the east, the eastern, no, the western face of it. All right, now we're up top. Here's an old road. This is probably where they brought materials. See, there's a trail here, but it's blocked off because of this tree. Okay, so here you can kind of see, so the river's that way. This would be the, I guess, the eastern face. But you can see the top is very, very dismantled or crumbling. Here's the other one. So they would have come right out here with the material. You can kind of see the remnants of the, you can kind of see the remnants of where they would come to do the charging. It was probably this right here. Yeah, because this leads out. And the, so there's one corner, there's the other. So the hole where they charged would have been basically right here. And it would have been about 25 foot, 30 foot stack but it looks like it's completely buried in. And it's a complete ruin, except for the two pieces of the stack and, the, and this wall over here, a retaining wall, I don't know what that is. All right, here's another angle, but you know, <laughs> with, the, with the leaves starting to come out and the light the way it is, I mean, you can't see anything's there, really. However, it was um, not nearly as, just as ruined as, as I thought it would be. Uh, based upon that guy's description. I mean, it's right around a corner. I mean, if you don't know anything about old structures or whatever, I guess you could think it was a cliff, but I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's a, uh, it's a man-made thing. Well, so uh, who knows, maybe there's, maybe there's something else. Maybe this was a lime kiln and not a furnace. And maybe uh, down this trail, this trail that goes to the the waterfalls and the swimming holes, maybe we'll find some more stuff. But uh that to me looks like a that looks like a furnace. That would be the York furnace. Alright, let's go get back and get my bag and then continue on down the trail. <laughs> 